Vladimir Lenin was a Russian revolutionary leader and political theorist who played an instrumental role in reshaping the course of world history. As the leader of the Bolshevik Party, he spearheaded the October Revolution in 1917, leading to the establishment of the world's first socialist state, the Soviet Union. Lenin's unwavering dedication to Marxism and his intellectual contributions made him one of the most influential figures of the 20th century, leaving a profound impact on global politics and inspiring revolutionary movements worldwide. Vladimir Lenin was born into a middle-class family on April 22, 1870, in the provincial town of Simbursk in eastern Russia. His early life was marked by a strong sense of social justice and a thirst for knowledge. His father, Ilya Ulyanov, was a respected educator and an advocate for liberal reforms. Tragically, Lenin's life took a transformative turn when his elder brother, Alexander Ulyanov, was executed for plotting to assassinate Tsar Alexander III. This event deeply affected Lenin and laid the groundwork for his commitment to revolutionary ideals. Lenin's education played a pivotal role in shaping his revolutionary beliefs. He attended Kazan University, where he initially pursued a degree in law. However, the university's vibrant intellectual climate and the exposure to radical ideas led him to join various student groups advocating for social change. During this period, he extensively read the works of Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels, profoundly influencing his thinking and propelling him towards Marxism. Following his studies, Lenin became increasingly involved in revolutionary activities and the underground Marxist movement. His activism attracted the attention of the Tsarist authorities, resulting in multiple arrests and periods of exile. In 1895, he was forced to leave Russia and began living in various European cities, where he continued to develop his revolutionary ideology and engaged with prominent Marxists such as Georgi Plekhanov, Pavel Axelrod, and Julius Martov. The pivotal moment in Lenin's revolutionary career came with the formation of the Russian Social Democratic Labour Party, or RSDLP, in 1903. During the party's second congress, a split occurred between the Bolsheviks, led by Lenin, and the Mensheviks. The divide centered on issues of party organization and ideology, with Lenin advocating for a more tightly disciplined and centralized revolutionary party. As the world was engulfed in the flames of World War I in 1914, Russia faced severe social and economic hardships, exacerbated by the strains of the war effort. Lenin, in exile, recognized the opportune moment for a socialist revolution in Russia. He believed that the war had created the conditions for the proletariat to seize power from the weakened Tsarist regime. In April 1917, following the abdication of Tsar Nicholas II, Lenin returned to Russia with the help of the German government, which hoped that his presence would destabilize Russia's war efforts. His arrival marked a turning point in the Russian Revolution. Under his leadership, the Bolsheviks, along with their allies, the left socialist revolutionaries, led the overthrow of the provisional government in October 1917. As the head of the new Soviet government, Lenin set about implementing a series of radical policies. He nationalized industries and land, redistributed wealth, and initiated sweeping social reforms to empower the working class and peasantry. His government also made strides in promoting gender equality, education, and workers' rights. In 1918, Lenin's government signed the Treaty of Brest-Litovsk, ending Russia's involvement in World War I but at the cost of significant territorial losses. One of Lenin's most significant accomplishments was the establishment of a political system based on workers' councils, known as Soviets. He envisioned a vanguard party of professional revolutionaries that would guide the working class towards socialism and eventually communism. His theoretical works, such as State and Revolution and What is to be Done outlined the practical steps to achieve these goals. Lenin's leadership faced numerous challenges, both from within and outside of Russia. The Russian Civil War erupted shortly after the revolution, pitting the Red Army, the Bolshevik forces, against the White Army, an alliance of anti-Bolshevik forces. The Red Army, led by Leon Trotsky, eventually emerged victorious, securing the Bolsheviks' rule and ensuring the survival of the nascent Soviet state. On August 30, 1918, Fania Kaplan, a member of the Socialist Revolutionary Party, made the first attempt on Lenin's life. During a meeting at the Hammer and Sickle factory in Moscow, Kaplan approached Lenin and fired three shots at close range. Lenin was hit twice in the shoulder and the neck. Although seriously wounded, he survived the attack. However, this attempt had long-lasting effects on his health, and contributed to the deterioration of his physical condition in the following years. 
The second assassination attempt occurred on August 30, 1921, exactly three years after the first attempt, when a group of anarchists made an effort to kill Lenin and other top Soviet leaders. A bomb was detonated at a public event commemorating the fourth anniversary of the assassination against Lenin. The explosion occurred near the building where Lenin and other leaders were present, causing casualties and injuries among the crowd. Lenin was unharmed in this attempt. Despite surviving both assassination attempts, Lenin's health continued to decline. From 1922 through to his death in 1924, he suffered several strokes that left him partially paralyzed and incapacitated. His declining health raised questions about the future of the Soviet Union and its leadership. Vladimir Lenin passed away on January 21, 1924, at the age of 53. The official cause of his death was an incurable vascular disease. His body was embalmed and placed on permanent display in Moscow's Red Square, where it remains a symbol of Soviet history to this day. Lenin's death set the stage for a power struggle within the Communist Party, eventually leading to Joseph Stalin's rise to power and a significant shift in Soviet policies. Vladimir Lenin's impact on the 20th century remains profound and contentious. His ideas, collectively known as Leninism, became an integral part of Marxist theory, offering an alternative path to socialism based on the vanguard party and the establishment of a centralized state. Under his leadership, the Soviet Union embarked on an ambitious journey towards industrialization and socialist transformation. Lenin's legacy, however, is the subject of intense historical debate. Supporters view him as a visionary leader who fought for social justice and the liberation of the working class from exploitation. They credit him with laying the groundwork for a new social order and fostering international solidarity among socialist movements. On the other hand, critics argue that Lenin's regime displayed authoritarian tendencies, leading to the suppression of political opponents, censorship, and the establishment of a single-party system. The concentration of power in the hands of the Communist Party and the development of a repressive secret police force, the Chica, are points of contention in assessing his legacy. Regardless of differing perspectives, there is no denying that Vladimir Lenin was a transformative figure in modern history. His leadership during the Russian Revolution forever altered the political landscape and inspired revolutionary movements worldwide. He remains a central figure in understanding the complexities of revolutionary change and the challenges of constructing a successful socialist society. As history continues to unfold, Lenin's legacy will remain a subject of critical examination, shaping the way societies grapple with the pursuit of social justice, equality, and human progress. Thanks for joining us. Remember to subscribe for more fascinating biographies.